Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer some uh, viewers questions. Uh, the first question is, how do you uh, break into the cabling IT industry? And it's really a great question. And as an employer, um, let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, I've been in business now for over 25 years and I've been in the IT field since um, mainframes in the late 70s. And I've seen a lot. I've worked with the government, I've worked with a big business, and now own my own company, uh, uh, Nova Voice and Data Systems, along with CableSupply.com. So it's a good question you're asking, and it's a great field to be in. And uh, the reason why it's a great field is because uh, industry in the United States is looking for IT professionals. There's never enough IT trained and experienced IT professionals in America. So um, you'll never hear about a starving, uh, talented IT person, uh, not like starving artists, but you uh, uh, will always have job opportunities if you have experience, a background in IT. Now the first thing uh, I want to address in that is when you want to break in at the lower levels, uh, there's a lot of people applying for uh, jobs in the IT uh, field that have absolutely no experience. So I imagine the question was coming from an individual that has no experience in IT but would love to break into IT. And really cabling is the best place to break into IT. Once you learn cabling and you learn how to cable, you learn how to cable buildings, you learn about building codes, you, you learn all the techniques in cabling, then move up to the other um, uh, disciplines, uh, networking, uh, Microsoft uh, servers, uh, things like that, as you advance in your career. But how do you break into uh, cabling? Well, uh, obviously, you need to uh, uh, get a resume. And I'm going to tell you some basic things and I'm going to tell you some specific things. Some basic things is get a very good, well written resume with no uh, misspellings on them. And you know a little section I see often that uh, people put in there, their objective in life is to find a fulfilling job. Let me be blunt, employers really don't care about you finding a fulfilling job. What they care about is can you make them money? Can you make them more money than they're paying you? And that's their goal. Uh, maybe some employers won't say that, but in reality, that's their goal. So you gotta have a clean resume. Now the next thing you need to, to do is have a right attitude. Uh, come to an interview properly dressed. Uh, a suit and tie is, is great. Uh, at least uh, a dress shirt with a tie. Uh, if you show up with uh, shorts and flip-flops with a t-shirt, eh, there's a good chance that guy that shows up with the tie is going to get the job. So, you know, be appropriately addressed. Um, uh, for the job. Uh, make sure you're on time. In fact, if you're not five minutes early, you are late. So be there ready to uh, be interviewed, have your resume, also have a pen in hand uh, so you can fill out an application. Now what I look for when I'm looking for cablers for NOAA Voice and Data Systems is I'm looking for someone that's already put out some effort to learn this field. If you're really interested in IT and this is not looking for another job, but are actually interested in IT, then do some study. Um, one of the, uh, the cell studies that I would recommend is, is, is read the book Network Plus. It's uh, uh, by Comp TIA, and you can buy it at uh, Barnes & Nobles or Amazon. It's, it's about $25, $50 at the most. Go through, read that book, learn about the basics of networking. And when you learn about the basics of networking, take the test. So you can prove to your uh, employer that, uh, or your future employer, that you put some effort into it yourself. Uh, that's the first thing. Maybe another area of study too after you're done your networking plus is look at uh, CCNA, uh, Cisco CCNA. And uh, you can pick up uh, the book uh, from uh, Cisco or better yet from Amazon, it's a lot less expensive. But what that shows an employer, what that shows me if you're applying for a job, a cabling job with me, is showing that you're interested to do some self-study on your own. And uh, that proves motivation. You're just not showing up at the door and wanting someone else to teach you everything you need to learn in life and counting on them to do everything. You're actually showing some motivation 
and uh, you're putting initiative into it. So I, I hope this answers your question, how you break into um, uh, cabling in the IT industry. And it's a, a great field to be in. It has uh, done many things for me and my family and those who have worked for me. So um, thank you for the question. And if you, have, uh, if you watch this video and you have other questions, don't hesitate to uh, email us there at uh, uh, cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with Cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from Cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with Cablesupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of Cablesupply.com.